Hello? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can uh, hear me in the chat below. I think I'm coming through okay. Um, yep, yeah, hey, all right, here we go. So guys, welcome to the stream. Let me just let you guys catch up so I actually hear you uh, hear you in, in the chat so you can hear me. Everything coming out of both speakers, does it sound okay? I know we've had some issues in the past where it only came out of one speaker. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to position it properly so I can actually build and talk. Um, because it's it's never the easiest thing this microphone <laughs> it's not a small thing um, I think that's probably a better place there yet yeah, hearable crisp crisp and clear I do like a nice crisp and clear microphone does that feel like it's in your ears anyway guys welcome to late night with WVC built it's not even that late yet um, all sounds okay, good, right. Well then we'll we'll get close to the mic and do late night chat later. Well this has already started off well. <laughs> um okay, so the plan of action tonight. I will be doing a bit of landscaping, planning, designing oh god that microphone's I just hit my webcam. Hopefully it still stays level. You guys can't see it yet. I'm staring directly into the soul. Um we're going to be doing some landscaping, some design work, bits and bobs, things and pieces. Um, it's, yeah, should be quite a chill chat. Uh, no, not the ASMR. Well, I'm sure we can. Um, people don't know how much 10 miles is. 10 miles is like 16k. Um, it's late, it's 3.30am here. Well, it definitely is close to the microphone breathing in time anyway I don't know if all 64 viewers wish to listen to that yet um, I'm just gearing myself up because I don't know if I'm ready to stream yet um, I'm just finishing off my cake and the cake has already been finished and it's gone and it's no longer in my room um, so <laughs> I've definitely finished it tours of fans realms Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Does this have anything to do with the building comp on the server? Yes, I cannot complete it. The building comp's done. So, I ran out of time. I'm going to keep hitting this if I'm well, not careful. Yeah, I ran out of time. Um, and so, yeah. Um, what cake was it? Well, it was a Victoria sponge. Um, can I, is this going to turn on? Uh, oh. It was a Victoria sponge, um, but yes, it doesn't really last that long. Uh, unless it is an explosion. What cake did you have? Oh, Victoria sponge. Right. Okay. Let me let me get started with this then. Uh, I'm just trying to remember which button does what. That button does that. No, is that right? <laughs> it doesn't look right. I think we've lost Minecraft. Hang on. Let's have a look. Always going to be a bit of teething issue. Yeah, why is it? <laughs> okay, right. Perfect. Right, well, I'll let you guys chat away in the chat by yourselves. The chat is Rooney's. I should be okay not to have to chat in there. And we will begin. Right, good evening. We are here in the Minecrafts playing some Minecraft yet again. Is this subtle low lighting any good for you? <laughs> I, 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 I was tempted to oh, do that. But then I can't see because that is blinding. Crikey. Um, so let me just maybe put that over here. That doesn't really work. There we go. How's that? Is that good? Can you see most of my face? Um, okay, right. 
cool. Anyway, welcome. Welcome to the Hinton Admiral Estate. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you showing this off? Now, I was doing this, building this beautiful house for um, for the monthly building competition we have on, this, on the Discord server. And I was doing quite well with it. I've got the whole house built, as you can see here. Um, it's it's in its it's entirety. Uh, these wings are very odd, um, but they are quite accurate compared to the real life thing. Um, hey, can you do a landscaping building guide vid or series? It'd be cool because I love the Victorian style. Um, landscaping and building guide vid, that's very different, those two things. Um, I mean, landscaping is... Ugh, Landscaping is very much based on what you're trying to do. Like this is going to be an absolutely monstrous task. Um, or it might not be. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, now, this is intense planning, yes. Uh, and I have used a special website to get like a schematic of the plans I've drawn out to be able to get this into game. So what you're seeing, all these little red dots, are actually where the trunks of trees will go. And you can see these little squidges here. Are actually what the map produces as trees so i've gone around and, and something i need to carry on doing tonight actually is just putting loads of little red dots inside all of these and getting rid of it all um so that's kind of what tonight's gonna be me just going around going oh look there's a field there or oh look there's a tree there and i thought you guys might enjoy it while chilling out to some tunes and having me ramble on about nothing and everything but still anyway this is the house i built um was it gonna win no could it have done all right? Maybe. Do I know anything? No. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm pretty disappointed I didn't finish it in time. Uh, my working week has been mental. Uh, although I did meet the managing director of my company's UK branch this week, so that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, has all the debugging ruined? Has all the debugging ruined? That is a question. That I. Oh, it has. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, I hate that. I hate that. Um, do I have a copy of it? So, if you guys aren't aware, with World Edit, you can get it so it no longer updates block states when you copy and paste things or move it or do anything with World Edit. And in order to turn these off, you type in slash slash perf uh, neighbors off. So that stops the neighbors interacting with each other when they get moved. And then you do perf um, slash slash updates off. And that also stops any block type or block states updating. Yeah, please, F in chat, guys. F in chat. That is a real... Uh, honestly, as you can see, I'm, I'm quite devastated with that. Um, uh, that's really annoying. I ha I have got a copy somewhere I think. Um, let me go. Let me go have a look and see. I mean, some of it's. Oh yeah, no, it hasn't. What, what's happened? Also, that shouldn't be right. Okay, I've done some things. I've done some things I shouldn't have done. Um, by the looks of it, all the windows seem to have stayed. I'm not entirely sure what's happened. Not not entirely sure. Sadly, uh, all right. Yeah, all the Fs are coming in chat. Can you do a Victorian building and landscaping guide or series? So two different things. I've, I've I've done I've done a guide on Victorian buildings, but not how to build them as such. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, while well, while well, while I'm deciding on how to break the news to myself that I've ruined the debugging, um, did you guys want to ask a question that I can answer across the evening? Um, give me some thought-provoking questions. Don't all spam at once, but have a question in your mind to um, to have a little ask of me. Um, welcome to my workshop. <laughs> I'm not going to turn around. <laughs> uh, I forgot there's a big old thing behind me there that you guys aren't allowed to see yet. Um, this is my workshop. Oh, this. I forgot this was here. I liked this house. I'm going to put it up on the market, not the marketplace. On um, Planet Minecraft soon, so you guys can download that. I know there's a three-part tutorial out on how to build it. Not a very good tutorial. Uh, I apologise. Also, not a very good house. I mean, it's it's a bit clunky now. Did I? Oh, apparently I updated it to 1.187. Um, that is interesting. Did I do the inside? 
Oh, this is an interior interiorless house. I must put the other one in. Um, right. Anywho, let me have a look at this. Or was this also ruined? No, this one wasn't ruined. Okay, right. Cool. Let me copy and paste this across then. So we're already off to a flying start, people, and that's what I expected from myself. Nothing less, nothing less indeed. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy this is going to be a very chilled out stream. Um, and we aren't going to achieve too much. I've already set my aspirations very low, on the floor, perhaps. Um, and it's not going to be too long. What's the time now? Half past eight. So I am travelling over to the Isle of Wight tomorrow to go to the festival there to see the Headliners Muse headline on Sunday night. Um, if any of you guys are going randomly, let me know. That'd be interesting. Uh, and it's going to be a long day. This is just story time now. It's going to be a long old day. And um, we're starting early, early doors. Uh, I believe I'm getting picked up about 8 o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's not too early, but it means I've got to get up at 6 and then we're going to get on over to a place called Southampton and travel on a ferry from there to a place on the Isle of Wight called Cows, although I think it's East Cows. And travel from East Cows down to the Newport Festival site. From there, we will spend several hours inside. By several, I mean from, I don't know, 10 ish till whenever we get kicked out. I miss your tutorials, are you going to do more? Pfft. Honestly, I I don't have the time to even build, let alone make tutorials. I know it's not the answer you guys want, but I wish I could. Honestly, like the growth my channel could have with just tutorials on would be insane, but would it be fun? Would it be fun? Anyway. Um, Uh, oh, Osborne House. Yes, 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 yes. That is planned to go somewhere. Where is another question? Um, anyway, I've been distracted again. What was I doing? I was copying and pasting. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm having a great time walking in Limington and watching WBC builds. Oh, wow. Well, it's not too far from me. Um, I mean, I've I've walked in Limington many a time. Let me walk in Woolhampton now, so you guys can see what what Limington doesn't look like. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> I think I think you must understand by now. You must understand that I am all over the place. Like this is a normal night for me. This is a normal day for me where I would just be like one thing to the next. If something at work takes a little bit too long to load, I'm straight on my phone like this and like oh yeah I better quickly check Twitter just to make sure we haven't all been blown up yet because um, that's what I do all day long I'm I'm doing it now I'm literally checking Twitter while here streaming to you guys um, uh, do I have ADHD possibly am I still scrolling Twitter yes <laughs> <laughs> Will I stop? I don't know. Anyway, um, what was I doing? Uh, looks great, man. Question, what the plans for the place? Palace in Whiteburg. No rush. Just want to see your team have fun. Uh, we got burnt out from Whiteburg City completely. Um, that was too much work. Hello from Sydney, Australia. Well, hello there. So we've got people from Livington and Sydney. That's crazy. You have a life beside your YouTube channel. Unheard of. I know. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? Um... Anyway, Let's Build Wolverhampton series is something I would love to bring back. Did you know it has been over a year since I built all of this? <laughs> I, I want to cry. Uh, I can't believe it's been over a year since I actually did any of this. Um, I really want to get back to it, but for some unknown reason, I get terribly distracted. Oh, I better check Twitter again. Um, so anyway, there is a complete master plan for this which I have written um, and it's like a full-on document 
a lot of you builders in the build chat and, and you know my builders on the server here have seen this document and I believe they're quite scared of this document. I've also drawn an entire map of the road network of everything that I will not show you guys yet because it's not formalized. Anyway, what was I doing here and why are we here? I don't know. Where was I meant to go? Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, before I lose it off my clipboard. Got my perfs turned off? Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, wow, we've got 120 people watching now. Beautiful. Um, oh no, what, what rotation was it? It's not the same rotation. 90? Paste. <gasps> I don't know why I was so shocked. Yes, right. Okay, 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 right. Off to a better start now. Good. Uh, question, would the mansion from the Great Gatsby be part of your world? No. No, I don't think it will be. Was that built in the 1920s? Somebody will know the answer to that. Um... Yes. Uh, have you ever thought about visiting the Netherlands? Maybe. Maybe not. Don't really know. Um, don't particularly leave the country too much. Right. Um, here we go then. Okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this building, this beautiful house behind me, um, is okay. I mean, it's not the best, not the best stately home I've seen. Uh, I built it because it was quite a compact design. I thought it'd be quite a nice one to um, just sort of have a go at and see how it's going. Um, in the time scale I gave myself to build, but unfortunately that time scale went out the window. And you know, you know how these things go. Um, so, yes, and you can see actually where there were like some things here where it was meant to go. So I think, to be perfectly honest with you, I think I scaled it up almost exactly as I wanted it to be. Um, anyway, so let me talk you through the plan on the ground. The green, the lime green over here are field boundaries uh, and, and hedges. So on that side is going to be like an open parkland with a river going through it. Uh, oh, there's some, some trees over there and yonder. I've got my render distance turned down quite a bit just because it helps with getting a bit of FPS going. Um, I don't know how you're building the skills just get better and better. Uh, the answer to that question is quite simply they don't <laughs> I think I've always had the same level of detail um, actually we can compare this house here to its next door neighbor over here come with me across yonder and be distracted again <laughs> to the other side of this river where a rival house and family sit it's like Romeo and Juliet we are in the Wilverley estate here we go um, so I built this over a year and a half ago. Why does it take me so long to do anything? Goblin, help me. Um, pain incarnate, right, okay. Yes. What was that in question two? Um, anyway, so that is my old build style skills. Um, this was a mess. Didn't like this. Uh, these windows are okay. A little heavy. Um, some other bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, we cool. No. <laughs> okay, thank you, Goblin. Uh, Wilverley Park. Yes, we've just come back over here for a second. Again, this was this was rushed. So I don't know how many guys know this, but I intended to build this for my 10k special. Um, and chat isn't on the stream, is it? No, no, no. It clogs up the stream and that um <laughs> uh, you know i'm just as bad as you at getting distracted oh goblin my goblin oh goblin how distracted we get are just there's lag <laughs> oh yeah there will be lag yeah yeah no, that makes sense um
Yes. Um, right. Where was I? Anyway, so that's this house. And the level of landscaping around here is somewhat of the level I'm kind of will end up with over there. Um, a lot more detailed. I, I've moved on in my landscaping capacity since this. Um, definitely, if I go look at... Um, did we do some landscaping around here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot all this was still here. Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you guys think of the Jubilee stuff? Please subscribe to my OnlyFans. I'm a father of eight and can't feed my children. Well, Rusty, that's your own fault there. Um, no one else to blame for that one. Um, yeah, well, I'll be touring this all properly, giving you a nice in-depth look of all the flags and stuff on the uh, next server update tour. What a nice landscape around here. Uh, just random bits of landscaping that I thought turned out quite nicely. This is the level of trees I want to go for rather than the big chunky ones. Um, we'll have all sorts of things. Um, I'm trying to think. I must have done some landscaping more recently than this. Oh yeah, Wolhampton. Okay, anyway. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that stuff with Jubilee. That took, again, that was like a random, let's just have a go at this and um, and see how it goes. And I, I, I kind of didn't anticipate it taking the best part of four days <laughs> to, you know, one decorate, well, two decorate, three decorate? Three days to decorate. Oh, God. Then two days to make the clips and then half a day to put it together. That took me nearly a week's worth of just working on it. Not solidly eight hours a day type week, but a week to put it together um yeah it turned out quite nicely i did like it I, I did enjoy it there's obviously watching it back i've gone kind of wish i spent a bit more time putting the video together there was a few clips i missed out and didn't didn't put in and a few little bits i could have done a bit more editing that i've seen since and went mm, that kind of would have worked um but honestly it's probably up there as one of my best cinematics i still like my halloween ones especially the um the murder house one where oh, that was great fun. The music just matched with all of these really random clips myself and the build team put together with when we all dressed up as Count Wobbular. Um, yeah, that was that was incredible. That uh, definitely definitely need to do something like that again this year for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be how the stream goes now. I'm going to go around, place red blocks inside things that I think were once trees, and then we will remove the stuff around them which were once leaves. And also this random stuff. Ah, Epic, I didn't miss your question. I, I did see it. So tonight, my beverage of choice is not sponsored by, but I wish I was. Um, Brewdog United Planet. Can we... Ooh, is that even visible? There you go. Let's show you it in the dark. It's got very dark in this room very quickly. Um, it's a nice session, hazy IPA. Um, see, I was thinking, actually... I, I was I was thinking quite heavily and quite in detailed about how to get Brewdog to sponsor me. Um, what we're building right now? Right now I am doing the grounds for this country house. Um, where is it? <laughs> I've, I've ended up on the other side of the road in a forest. Okay, right. Um, this country house over here. No, it's um it's a fairly new one, uh, Onion. Um, it's it's a session it's it's like a hazy jane but quite sessiony um this is the house we're building and i'm currently going around the grounds and just sorting them out massaging things in place getting things going nicely uh i love the whiteberg city cinematic perfect yes um but yeah anyway where was i I was over here i think um so in terms of getting brew dog to sponsor me <laughs> let's brainstorm on stream um, I was thinking like if we did another pub crawl, I could have it that somehow we go around pubs and, and say we, we drink it and they could then just give me free beer. I don't know. We got to think of some way, like every brewery on the server could be a brew dog brewery or something like that. And in return, I get free beer. Um, that kind of sounds like a deal that it's just it must be itching to get. Like free advertising. What's happening with the weekly challenge? Uh, I don't know. 
will you do a video on this country house? I shall do a tour of it, um, and it will also feature in this month's server update tour, which I'll be filming next week. Yeah, the, the, we, we, the weekly build challenge videos were unsustainable completely. Um, if I just took the channel over and went, right, we're doing those, nothing else, then sure, fine, that could have worked, but videos alongside every other bit of content I want to make. No, 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 no. Well, it's never going to happen with my day job. Ah, oh, you guys don't understand the anguish I go through daily. Ideas I have. Things I wish to do. I even had one plan once of building every single building in both volumes of the Vitivorous Britannicus. As a little series. As a mini-series, some could even say. Mm, yeah. Probably not in this lifetime. Uh, make a whole pub dedicated to it. I think more than one pub. I think if we did that, it would be like every brewery on the server would be owned by them. Every pub would serve their beer. And it would just be like everywhere. I think I think that's not asking too much. <laughs> Give me free beer. Give me free beer. <laughs> um, but yeah. See, I've got like I've got to reach around my headset to like drink. I can drink this though. Mm. That's damn good. Uh, what are you doing with the red dots? So the red blocks will be where I place tree trunks later on. Is this light okay? Can you see me? Is that too bright? I might turn this down slightly. Christ. Oh yeah. There we are. At least Brewdog will reimburse me for broken doors. Mm. Can't say they will. I have actually broken one of their doors in real life. Um... Could then do a series on getting sued by Brewdog for copyright infringement. Yeah. No, not if they. No, 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 no. Not if they tell me to do that. If they tell me that it's okay, and we make a deal where I get beer and they get advertising, it's a win-win. How do you build so well? I. I I'm literally just putting bits of blocks in red wool, red wool in, in holes. Um, this isn't building yet. I don't think any of this is needed. Uh, yes, it is, actually. Another live stream. Yeah, so, I mean, I, uh, the thing is, the last live stream was meant to be massive. <laughs> Today's pub door smash was sponsored by Brudo. <laughs> Join me at the end of the video to find out more about our sponsor. That would be great clickbait. Yes, it would. I got sponsored by Brewdog to break down this door in a pub in Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to bring you guys along for this um, because it's a bit dull otherwise. <laughs> and I was sitting here talking to myself in my head, thinking about plans and ideas and stuff. And I went, hey, why not bring the entire community with it. How did you get these outlines in is it like hand drawn sketch or something? So this is both. Let me show you. Can I show you? Is the question. Oh oh no. Oh hang on. <laughs> Ignore all of that. Oh hit oh. here's a picture. Look at that instead for a second. That's the house. <laughs> let, me, let me bring that up while I try and find what I was looking for. So I wanted to show you guys what I used. Um, and then Solar, I know Solar's watching somewhere. Um, he has made a guide on how to import map images, or images into Minecraft as um, a schematic for... Ooh, what's the word? A schematic for... Well did it. That's the one. Uh, and then you can place it in the world and do what you want with it. I think I, I in one of my videos, when I get back to doing Let's Builds, I don't even say back to, when I do my next Let's Build video, I will explain in that one exactly how it works because it's a great tool to use. Absolutely incredible. Is that too bright? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Um... Let me try and find this. I'm just waiting for my downloads folder to like churn through 
the billions of data in here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me I'm in studio mode and I didn't press transition. There we go. But yes, it's basically magic. Um, you can see how out of practice I am. Uh, right, here we go. So this is the image. You can see this now. This is the image um, I've brought into the game. And you can see all of these roads I've drawn on. Not These roads aren't... You can see the real life roads there. And I've changed the layout completely to fit our world. So, you know, I've got the rivers in here. And one down there. That's Wilbury Park over this side. Um, and... Then we have the house in the middle with the gardens and the lakes and whatnot. Um, okay, that's where that ended up. Probably should keep that there. Um, yes, I think I will actually. I think I will keep the church there. That might make a bit more sense. Might look a bit better. Mm. Okay, right. Well, we won't we won't remove that. Um, so I've then brought this into the game um, using that method that Solar has perfected. And um, we then can go ahead and and use it um, like that. Uh, hang on. There we go. Can we see me? There we are. Perfect. Right. Cool. Hello. Can you make an Ottoman city? No. Um, who has designed that map? Me and the OS company back in nineteen no, back in eighteen ninety seven. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Right. What I want to show you quickly is a quick brush command. So we're doing sphere. Um, so we're doing br brush for sphere. Uh, zero make a seven. Uh, and with that, I can now use that as an erase tool, almost. Uh, and if I set this mask here, um, uh, y equals, what was it, 68? So I want to go above 68. Uh, space, I then also want to do ignore red and lime. So, oh, oh, that's the wrong way around. That's the wrong way around. A long day of playing bowls, guys. Right. Perfect. But yeah, so that's where that map comes from. Um, I hope you guys like that little bit of insight behind it all. Can you make the la map larger and make Middle East? That's a little bit demanding there. Um, no. Maybe one day, but not right now. And it's not really what we want to do. We've got a lot to build in other parts of the world. Um, let us let us chill with the stuff we've got to build first, because honestly, there is too much already planned. <laughs> if we don't build it, it's just all going to fall apart. Anyway, keep them coming. These questions are good. Uh, white birding colonies in the Middle East and inspired map. Uh, no. Can we just allow the, us, the build team, to carry on building the English, and American, and other inspired places currently? Um, but yes, uh, yeah, keep those questions coming. Always good to have a little read through. Goblin, what are you working on currently? If you're still watching. So, Onion and Solo, also what are you working on? Right, are we getting closer to... Yes. So this one needs to be removed. So, I'm really happy I've got this little tool here. Uh, I think that might stay as a fence. So 
so this is just a line command. Um, with this, I can create a lime line of zero weight, and that just puts a line in like that. Um, what's your favourite Wren church? Oh, that's a tricky one. I don't know that many. Not like not like Goblin knows. Uh, if you ask me what my favourite Hawksmoor church was, that is Saint Mary Woolnox uh, in in the city. I think that's what it's called. Goblin will know. <laughs> Currently spamming deer everywhere. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, oh dear indeed. Uh, do you have access to 1.19 blocks now? What do you think of the new blocks? Uh, not on this server currently. I'm waiting for a few things to be updated. Although I haven't really checked to see if they are updated already or not. Um, uh, I will update probably in a couple of weeks once things settle down. We've got all the mods we need and all the plugins and that. I heard Wren, St. Murray Walnoff. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I like, but that's a Hawksmoor church. That's not a Wren's church. <laughs> I heard Wren. <laughs> Why do you and the team always just recreate old buildings instead of inventing new ones, which would be more creative? Um, excuse me? I think I speak for myself completely when I can tell you that the main building in the centre of Whiteburg is not a real building. This has been entirely entirely invented. So I'm not not really sure not really sure your comment there is justified. Also there's quite a bit of fun in recreating either real, unbuilt, designed, and or just something you like the look of in Minecraft. If you think it's easy, I've got another boat to sell you? Bridge to sell you, it's not. What's the biggest building you have ever built? This thing here I'm showing on screen. Oh god, that's still there. <laughs> that was there from the last stream. Oh my god. Do you know what? That was five months ago. When we were about to declare war on Goose, but now now Gansberg, Gans's strike is gone uh, due to a diplomatic dispute. Um... But yeah, so Benji, yeah, your your question there is misplaced. Anyway, what am I actually building? I am just doing some landscaping slash putting red bits of wool in trees. Uh, I'm currently doing the landscape parklands for... This thing here. Yeah, it's exactly like a puzzle, but not just that, it's... um. It's literally, you know, we don't just do that. You end up creating your own things anyway. Um, ah, Fluffy Snail, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. It's been a very long while. I hope you're keeping well, mate. Uh, what's your favorite building on the server? Hmm. 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 I don't know. I can't answer that to be honest. I don't have a favourite building. Um, the Palace of Antwerp is up there as my favourite thing I've ever built, slash have been part of. Um, have you visited Peter Griffin Land as of late? No. And hello Berg, welcome to the chat. <laughs> It's good to see all the builders in there, and we're still sitting around a hundred mark on here. Lovely stuff. It's good to see you guys are about. 
So anyway, I didn't explain to you, the grey wall is the paths, the pink wall is landforms slash, this is going to be a lake. Um, actually, what is the wall, what is the level here? 68, what's the water level? Oh no. Oh no. Now, would it be unrealistic to have the lake water level at a higher level to the stream? To the actual water level, because that's 62. And that's 68. Ah, hello, Dev. Um, <laughs> I guess people ask you, Lost, but what are you an architect, real life, or something similar? So, no, it's fine. I, I'm not an architect. No, I'm a civil engineer. Um, there is a bit of crossover in the field, but the stuff I tend to do is planning based around airports and the actual infrastructure of the airports. Uh, such as the runway, taxiways, aprons, stands, and all of the stuff that goes in that. I don't do much in terms of the actual building as part of my work. Uh, I do, you know, uh, just the stuff the aircraft use, really. Uh, yes, um, yes, Sir Lancelot. This was going to my comp entry, oh yeah. Here we go. You definitely deserve more subs. So talented. Thank you. I think I do think the main issue of me not being a very large channel is just because I can't stay consistent, and YouTube punishes you for that. Um, nothing, nothing really can be done with that. I've never seen this much to do with planning. Oh yeah, uh, that's all right. Um, yeah, I. Here's my issue. Here is my issue. The idea was this pond was going to get filled up by this stream here, which is like a, a man-made stream that's coming from a spring up on the hill over here. Hmm. Don't know. Yes, Brazil is the upside down one, and no, I'm not going there. Um, so, how do you learn to build realistic scale? You, you, you don't really learn it. You just evolve it over time. You see, this building isn't massive, but it's it, it's not overscaled either. So, the building itself is possibly around um, one to one point five times larger. Uh, sit and chat um, and that gives you a scale that kind of matches what the person in the game looks at just raise that river no I'm not raising the river <laughs> make some higher banks and fill it in the river is not being raised um, I'm going to make that a reservoir and have this as being a pumped stream Okay, even better idea. And one that I can actually hide behind not having to build it. I'm going to make this a reservoir that gets pumped water from the stream underground via some pipes. This has given me lech... Ah, oh, yes. Do you know what? They were fun. I really, really, really miss doing those. We never did anything. Like, I spent four hours just talking to you guys and... That's kind of how it went. Um, Other questions have I missed so far on the chat? Um, we are 30, me and my friends watching you from the Middle East. We love your builds. Oh, thank you. Um, right, sorry, I was just having a think. Um, how long 
do one of your builds take on average? Don't know. <laughs> I've never timed it because I just I just like taking my time with things. I also get heavily distracted, as you guys have already seen tonight. So that uh, makes for interesting content. Uh, so topical question: Any coffee today? Um, I've had one, two, three, four. So one at spoons, one at Costa. I then had a monster. Oh, I've had five pints since then. Uh, what's the scattered red wall for? So the scattered red wall is locations for tree trunks based on maps. Who is my favourite YouTuber? Hmm, that's a real difficult one. I've always loved Kralis. I think he's incredible. Um, he just oozes a style that I wish I could implement in videos. He's just so cool. Collected and just lovable to watch. Um, don't watch him much at the moment. I just haven't been watching many Minecraft videos lately at all. Um, apart from that, who else do I even watch on YouTube? Oh, Nuke's Top 5 was scary videos. For some reason I just love that. A bit much coffee in it. No. No, not at all. I have spent f past 40 hours making an exact replica of your government building. Well, congrats. Took me the best part of three months to build and design. So, yeah, 40 hours. It's a working week. It's, it's time. Here's a question. What will the Royal Palace of Whitebird be based off? Something you guys have never seen in your life because it's going to be entirely invented. Now, there actually is a concept piece of artwork for a building that could have been in London once upon a time, but it wasn't built, and that's what we're going to make it. How do you have so much motivation to build big stuff? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that's why I had to invent the reason to stream tonight in order to push myself to even go around putting these red bits of wool in. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. But this is the sort of stuff I wish you guys could see more of because it's just, it happens. Um, it's really hard to make into any content. So having a bit of a chilled out stream where we just sit down, I talk at the computer, you guys respond with some words, I then continue talking at the computer, uh, and we all go along happily. Um, I've never caught a stream before and I have to head out, but I want to say that I really enjoy your content, the builds on your server are incredible. Well, thank you. Thank you indeed. And as Burger said there, the team appreciates all your love as well. We love to please and we please to love. That doesn't make any sense. Do I have kids? No. Do I want kids? No. Can I make kids? No. <laughs> Is that enough answers? <laughs> Uh, a civil engineer. Right, well, good evening, anyone just joining. Um, quick update. This is some planning. Uh, and this is a grand estate. Okay, that... <laughs> When you get quite distracted on the ground and think, oh, that's some trees. In actual fact, that's a number. That's 17, uh, 1,175. So we can remove that. And some trees can go there instead now. Um, actually, I might start doing this now. So the real reason I'm doing this is because I want to start clearing this area up so I can then landscape. So the way I'm going to landscape this is I'm going to raise all of this up. Probably about 10 blocks. 10, 15 blocks. And then um, from there, I'm going to go around and start shaping and forming and doing things to this landscape. Nothing major, but some nice little hills. And some bits and bobs. Um, 
and then yeah hopefully this place gets done quicker than not um but we'll see we'll see indeed anyway um but yes i was just saying if you have a burning question you wish to ask me we're doing a bit of a q a as we go along so leave it in the chat and i can get to it and answer it and have a little talk about it uh bear in mind i'm the type of person that will speak my mind um i, t I don't particularly hold back on answers so if you i don't know just just ask away um just don't try and get me demonetized. Uh, music all good? Can you guys hear the music? It's getting a bit windy outside, so I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone. I don't even know what trees I want yet. I'm just doing this. Where even are we? Okay, we're down this end. Why oh, my phone so far away? So I'm just checking Twitter. Make sure we haven't died yet. Hmm. Not currently. Right. I probably should put a light on in this room. But I can't be bothered to stand up. No, that wasn't good. Will I be making tutorials? It's a question I can't give an answer to. Well, yes, I want to. The quick answer is not in any time soon. Have you already planned another episode of Bricks Box? Yes, I have. Will it happen? Who knows? Um, there's there's something that's a bit different than how things were when I started this channel. Um, lol, I've never seen your face before. Really? I've been on many a stream. I've also been in many videos. Um, uh, so, when I started this channel, it was 2019, and I don't know, things were a bit different then. Uh, but also, the videos I made were terrible, and by about 2020, uh, they were starting to be okay. Then, obviously, in 2020, we had the pandemic and life, as we know it, returned to houses and everyone just decided to not even decide. Everyone was mandated to stay inside. So the time I had to spend indoors doing my own things increased massively. Um, while I was still working throughout the entire of the pandemic, I had you know, access to my, my home and I had access to be able to do YouTube videos much easier. Um, since everything's kind of returned back to normal um i'm in the office more now i was in the office three days this week and those three days are well it's an hour there it's i go there i get there about half nine so my hours are pretty flexible in terms of i have to do 40 hours a week and it doesn't really matter when you do them as long as you do them blah 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 um but you know traveling time doesn't get included in that so when I get in about half nine, I don't leave until about half six. Uh, and then I get the train home, another hour back. And it ends up being, you know, when you get home, you're knackered. Even if you haven't done too much, it's just a long day. Uh, and I jump on, I do a bit of building, I do a bit of planning, or I have a Discord dispute to sort out or something. And by the time you're done with that, you're kind of like, I haven't had the time to sit down and, you know, um, make a video now the other things the other sort of thing is like once you once you do that you get into a cycle of going oh i'm gonna put that off i haven't got the time so it's really hard to break that cycle until you have a couple of days to yourself to do it now i don't live alone so living at home with my family still means 
time you don't really want to spend all the time by yourself stuck around in your bedroom so you you kind of do things and also plus i have a life outside of all of this uh which you know, goes through swings and, and ups and downs and troughs and peaks and what i'm trying to say is i don't have the time i used to have and um where i wish i did there are only so many things i can sacrifice to make more videos for you guys so it's kind of trying to strike a balance where i can actually do this still while also running a real life um yeah it's not easy would i love to do more of course like i have so much planned 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 um that i don't think you guys could even comprehend the years of work most of the stuff i want to build has turning it into ways that you guys could then build as well it's next to impossible because i'm not a teacher um not a teacher in any aspect <laughs> uh but what i am is hopefully an inspiration um sorry where were i what was the oh i don't know bricks to blocks take probably a week to make um if i sat down and did that sure but what I find is bricks and blocks are very intensive videos to make. Like you have to um, build and chat, build and chat, do time lapses and stuff. It it all becomes very hard to do um, on the regular. Unless it was on the regular. That's the thing. I I get bored. I'm not bored. I get distracted. And I like to try the things and I find something I want to do and I get an idea. Or there's some time for something to do. And um, I end up doing like let's say a Halloween build instead, and then that throws a bricks and blocks out by another week, or two weeks, or a month, and then you go, oh, I might do this instead, and blah blah blah. Long story short, I can't schedule my life very well. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. Somebody edit my videos for me. That might save me a bit. Um. My only issue is I haven't had any videos that have gone very far. So I'm very loathed to bite the bullet on just double downing, you know, quit my day job <laughs> making videos for you guys. I, I, you know, I could do. But would the return be there? Probably not to start. Um, should I? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, I, I worked very hard to get a degree to be able to do the job I do. Um, plus I have a big future there, hopefully. Um, but yeah. That was poetic. Uh, me and WBC kind of have an agreement where we build Hawksmoor stuff and I build the Ren stuff. <laughs> yes, we do. Um... I feel like there's going to be a theme now of just, um, can I do more tutorials? I'm not going to go through the same spiel I've just spent about 10-15 minutes saying. The answer is no. Currently, in the foreseeable future, I can't. If any more comes, it will be by accident or, or um, a need for financial gains. Exactly, and I would need to sell my soul to the algorithm, hence why I would have to make tutorials. Um, but right now, I'm doing it for fun, and it pays for the server. And that's all I really need. Do you watch Green? No. Do I watch any Minecraft YouTubers? No. Do I live in isolation from outside world? No. But I... Yeah, tutorials of tax benefits only. Exactly, exactly, Goblin. You understand. Uh, yes, I do actually, Darcy Hunter. Stowe Park will be built on here, but it will be called something different, and it's part of my Let's Build Wolhampton series. So stay tuned for that in 2024. Um... 
Sad me noises. Well, unfortunately, I I don't know what else to say. I, I'm not forcing myself to make tutorials where I have no time and they would be terrible and I would get bored and all of us would have a bad experience. That's the long and short of it. I'm here to inspire. That's always been my goal. Inspire you to have a go. Have you been to America? No, but I am going there in October. Uh, I've got a cruise from Southampton to New York, about booked, and I shall be in New York at some point in October. Exactly that, Robin. If you watch enough of the server update tours slash anything else that's on the channel, you will hopefully get the spark where you go, this looks good. Why don't I take a look at something in my own area or some other historical building or something you like the look of and go, hey, I might try building that. And then the spark is born. I operate under, oh God. I operate under the idea that, you know, show a man to fish or catch a man a fish and he can eat for a day um, teach a man a fish and he can eat for a lifetime teaching the gift of inspiration is teaching that for a lifetime I can't teach you to be inspired by buildings you have to be inspired through seeing what we can do tutorials are just eating a fish a day I think No, not the Queen Mary two. The one of the one of the um, Royal Caribbeans. No, there's nothing wrong with mentioning tutorials. You just have to understand that I am human, not a machine. This is what I enjoy doing the most: sitting here, going, "Yes, these are red spots everywhere." No, I have not gone slightly mad. Ah, uh, if anyone used to watch the old Let's Build All Hampton live streams, this is what they were twice a week for the best part of two months. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I never got to see the Titanic as that sunk 110 years ago. Will you build Westminster Abbey? I'll be that. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, you're not the Terminator? No, I'm not the Terminator Goblin, as you well know. Uh, I'm a man who has a love for train stations. Do you guys like train stations? I love train stations. Right. Mm -mm. Be conscious of said time. Live stream more. I enjoy this the most. I enjoy this. Yeah, why not? Got a good setup actually. I'm using my guitar as a stand for my mic uh, for my lamp actually. Right, where are we? Trees. This is starting to take more shape. Good. Train stations are cool. Well, you'll be happy to know I am working heavily on another timeline video based around the ideas of architecture changing through a hundred year period. From 1820 to 1920, I will show you a detailed inspirational video about the changing of architecture and railways in Britain through that period of time. Yes.
So if you'd like to see that, let me know. Uh, I mean, it'll be out probably in September, but <laughs> two years after the last one. God, it's already been two years. Nearly. That was a terrible pour. Look at that. Look how much head there is on that. I used to work in a bar. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Right, anyway. So this lime wall, I think I explained earlier on, but more people have joined since. Um, I don't know what your question was. Um, this is like the outlines of properties and land boundaries and hedges and stuff like that. Do you like history? It's a very vague question, so... Yes? Know the monument. But yeah, so guys, in the chat below, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them. We're doing a bit of a Q&A as I'm going around placing hundreds of blocks losing my mind slightly good evening welcome to the chat i'm wbc builds and i'll be your host for the evening as we move through into the smooth jazz hour um i have nothing against the russian people just the government Yes, I've watched all of Downton Abbey. It was great. I haven't seen the film yet. The second one. Must go see that. I like to picture myself as Carlson. How do you keep motivated to build? I take several months off a year where I travel away from Minecraft. Changing blocks of magic axe. Oh, yeah, so this isn't a magic axe. This is a command that I've typed in here. So you type in repel replace one and it sets it to a tool where you can right click and change the block type, left click to uh, paste it down. And it's just painting at this point. Does Whiteberg have political parties? Um, yes, one, the CDP. <laughs> oh dear. The CDP. <laughs> oh, I haven't said those words in a while. Oh, I'm chuckling. Well, sir, my house. Interesting. When I ask for questions in the chat, the question cannot always just be do more tutorials. We're talking more about a Q&A type thing here. Mosin Jammer, shut up. Goblin. Uh, 
Uh, what games do you play? So I do enjoy playing uh, Battlefield 1 still, randomly, after a long time. Um, so that's always fun. Yeah, do you know what? Battlefield 1, I think, is one of the only shooters that still holds up very well. Do I play Victoria 2? No, but I will be playing Vicky 3 when it comes out. Um, I do also play Europa Universalis 4. Great game. Have I ever been to Glasgow? No, I haven't been to Scotland. Why do you build mainly British houses? I think there might be a reason for that. I wonder if you can tell. Would you stop being Prime Minister of Whiteberg if your work was destroyed? Very strange question. Very ominous as well. No, Whiteberg's always a place. It's been a place for the best part of a decade, so... Probably not. Uh, why did you build Limington? Um, I, I think you, man, one, you know the answers. <laughs> but for the rest of the people out there, um, just because it's a local town to me, always been interested in it. Um, great architecture there, subtle, pleasing, nice Georgian history. What do you enjoy about this time period the most? Just the fact that this was before the invention really, well, before the adoption of cars everywhere. Things were still a little bit more local and um, kind of just makes the time period a bit more, I don't know, far away, even though it was only about 110 years ago. Um, no, so uh, I know a lot of people ask me this. I'm never possibly ever going to build anything other than British towns. Maybe the old American one. It's the architectural styles I like. It's the whole reason I got into this. Um, I'm not a big fan of European architecture. Italian, fine. Yes, love it. French, French I find is overdone. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's always going to be British architecture. Who's your inspiration for building the posh buildings? Half of the buildings, or most of the buildings I build, I have no idea who designed them. I just build them because they look nice. Any more questions? Let's go. Give me a bit more complex questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't answer questions on universities based on architecture. I I don't know. I never did architecture, so.
Crocs with socks. Mmm, please. I have a bit of taste. Uh, but yeah, anyway, anyone that's joining, welcome to the stream. We'll probably be streaming for about another half an hour or so. I'm currently just putting together fences. <laughs> no, um, outlines for fields in what will become part of a country house. Well, the country house is here, and I'm doing the estate for it currently. So all these red dots will be one day trees, and all of these grey paths will be the roads, all the paths. And this other colour here, well, this white terracotta, will be the stream running into the river, river up there. That will be a bowls lawn, I think. <laughs> um, and this lime colour is boundaries for fields and other areas. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Mm, could do with a coffee. What was the war prep? What, what, what war? Um, well, it was it was going to be a great war between um, Gansberg and Francia mixed with Italy, I think, and and we were going to be against them, us and Kalmar. Uh, never needed to happen in the end. A political solution was found. But there was a real reason we didn't do it, and I think you can probably tell why. I mean, we can try and stay away from random political questions and things like that. There's not much to incite conversation, rather just incite division. Uh, the terrain was a normal Minecraft um, terrain that I've gone through and edited in um, World Painter. Just to cut the top off mainly, put some rivers in. And hey presto, we've been building on it and every bit of landscape we're doing it now is all hand done. Uh, yes, that is correct that I do design airports. Um, my thoughts on the recent chaos is, is airlines... I don't know. I I, mm, I have a formulated opinion. I just probably won't voice it in public. What region of England are you from? I am from the South. We don't like to use the word Southwest or Southeast. We are just the South. Still got about 70 people watching me placing pieces of the wall. Um, yeah, I think I could definitely do more of these streams. Um, if you guys want that. And over time, I will involve myself better with them. Um, although I am becoming more and more of a grumpy man these days. I'm aging, so that's how things happen, unfortunately. And being in Britain, grumpiness is a gift. Oh, sorry for upsetting the political scientists in the chat. But yes, come on, any more juicy questions? Uh, 
what British cities have I been to? Well, there isn't many British cities, but I've been to London, Bath, Bristol, Wells, um, what other city? Southampton, Newcastle, Plymouth, Portsmouth. Mm, that's the only ones I can think of. Oxford. Must have been some more Cardiff. So the question on uh, any tips for people struggling to work towards anything right now, especially something they really want. Um, so that is a topic that I find myself asking a lot. Oh, thank you for the super chat there, Sir Mahas. Much appreciated. Uh, that will be lovely. Um, some monetary inspiration for, uh, for all of these. Have a pint on me. Thank you very much. Um, so the idea of having a goal is always key whether it's revenge <laughs> whether it's um it's mainly revenge with me but no whether it is you know a striving towards a completion of a project um having something in your mind that you kind of one think is so unobtainable that you you know you think oh i can never achieve that and so you try and you try and put it down uh, as never happening um but the goal is to make little changes in your life uh, that can lead to that completion happening almost on a subconscious level mm -hmm. yes I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, what's the furthest place you've ever been to abroad um, I guess Gibraltar mm, furthest from where I am possibly Rome I don't know uh, it's just keep working towards things. If you've got something on your mind and you keep dreaming of it and keep keep fighting and making little changes in your life towards it, eventually it can happen. Do you have hobbies outside of Minecraft and YouTube? Um, I used to. <laughs> I really don't have much time for anything more than this. Oh! Speaking of things, I do play lawn bowls, and I have been out lawn bowling today. Uh, our team lost, <laughs> unfortunately, um, but it was good fun. Good fun, uh, but that's a almost fairly new hobby. Um, apart from that, my main hobby is drinking beer. What am I building? I am building some fences, walls, and the gardens for a lovely country house. What are the red blocks? The red blocks are where trees will go. Do you like fish? I like to eat fish. Any more questions? Come on. I have all of, I want to say 15 minutes left. So get your questions in. Uh, it's a fictional world, not based on any country, but the buildings I build are mainly from England and or England, really. Um, any plans for the future of your channel? Just keep plodding along. I've got so many different series I want to do for Let's Builds, and that's probably where it will end up. 
just lots of let's builds um that will end up being you know completion of the, the server and, and the towns i want to build um i have made a video recently actually on the future of the channel so check out that if you want a bit more in depth sorry for tap out for the night it's been a blast keep up the awesome builds no worry jog32 thanks for popping by How are you dealing with the recent temperatures? To be honest, I've been fine. Um, I did pop down the beach last night just to cool off, um, but today it's been fairly cool, so not too, not too bad. Any more for any more. Love saying that for some reason. I've definitely made some progress, but I knew this was going to take a long time. One, because I get so distracted when building anyway, so it always ends up just being a drawn out process. Opinions and weather spoons. You know what you're getting with spoons. I enjoy spoons. Um, I will always go to a spoons if a spoons is available. Favourite English monarch. Mm, I don't particularly have opinions on favourites. Do you think it would be possible to build new buildings in old styles? Yes, that's very possible. What's your favourite UK craft brewery, Brewdog? Controversially, perhaps, because I know people are moaning about their ethics. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, Brewdog, always. My favourite flavour of Henry Weston cider has to be the vintage one. Uh, the 8.7 or 8.9% one. Mm. Two of those and I'm asleep somewhere. Alright, let's get this hedge line in. Favourite art style? I do love pop art. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know why that even came in my head. Um, I don't really know. don't really don't really have a I'm, I'm not an arty person to be honest he says building architecture in a minecraft game spoons is scary Weber spoons is not scary you know what you're getting with spoons you walk in there you sit down at the table you crack out the Weber spoons app you go right i'm having chicken basket or maybe one of the uh well three of the three for ten pounds or three for eleven fifty as they are now uh, and you order a pint of punk IPA and or a hazy J in the bowl. You sit there with your friends and you get absolutely trolleyed. Uh, attempt to make it home. Miss the train. Attempt to make it home again. Realise you're in the wrong place. Any beers we should really try? Uh, get yourself a hazy Jane or a punk IPA just to start off. Um, do love a hazy Jane. Do I work with YouTube? No. My channel is, I mean, Uh, I do love the, the phrase getting trolleyed or um, I'm trying to think of a few other ones a um, bit, bit wet behind the ears uh, a little bit um, uh, <laughs> there's so many but most of them are rude and I can't say on stream unless I do want to get demonetized uh, try to think of a few more sloshed had a good night Do I enjoy a game of darts? I do not. My hand-eye coordination is atrocious. 
Wine or spirits? Um, spirits, but I'm really not into drinking spirits these days. Give me beer. Getting mortal. Mortal's a good one. Levered, yep. Uh, having a skin's full. A skin full. It's quite an old one. Uh, literally. Um, what other ones we got? Bladdered. Getting bladdered is quite a good one. Do you say sip jar? A summer house. I know you've just made that face <laughs> in chat for me saying IPA, but that is the beverage of choice I shall be buying with the money you've just given me. So thank you for facilitating your disgust. <laughs> Have you ever do a forfeit for losing game of darts? Um, yes, but I cannot talk about it here on YouTube. <laughs> well, that was an interesting night. Ah, hello, Matty. Welcome to the chat. Right, how are we all doing, guys? We are nearing probably the final 10 minutes. Would you ever create a world download for Whiteberg? No. It's far too big and a live project and will probably be live for at least five more years. Okay then guys, so anyone's got any plans for Sunday? Uh, what is your plans? I'm off to the Isle of Wight Festival tomorrow to watch Muse headline. Really excited. They are my favourite band and I haven't seen them live since 2011. Um, that was in Wembley Stadium. It was beautiful. Uh, but no, it should be good tomorrow. It's probably going to be a bit of rain. Um, but I've bought a new coat today so it should be fine. Actually, in, in doing so, in buying a new coat, I ended up dropping a bag of stuff I had bought from Superdrug previously uh, in Mountain Warehouse and walking out the shop without going back for it. I had to get a mate to go pick it up later on. What a mess. Anyway, any plans for the weekends? Do you ever meet with subscribers? <laughs> no comment. No, I don't. Um, I mean, if people recognise me in the street, I will happily say hello. Um, I'm not someone to shy away from meeting subs. I have met some people who have watched me. Um, I know people that do watch as well. Do you want to meet with me? Um, uh, I'm not sure why you got that meet in quotation marks. I'm getting a strange feeling from that. Fishing trip, that sounds nice. Family duties, fair enough. It is Sunday, that's what most Sundays are for. Oh no. Well, good luck with that chest infection. I used to have them quite a bit. Uh, they aren't fun. I ended up with pneumonia once. Not very nice. Long before COVID. Long before COVID. This is still, still June, isn't it? Do you think Ed Sheeran's concert was far too loud and disrupting people who lived near Hampton? What? 
okay, I have no comment on that because one, I have no idea how loud it was. Two, music should be loud, and three, it's one night. Doesn't really matter. Very strange. Very strange question. Uh, anyone participating in any Pride festivals? As it is the month of Pride. Yes, Goblin, I understand. We get to a certain point in life that you forget how the calendar works and what day of the week it is. Right, well, we are nearing the end. Put anything down in the chat now you wish for me to read, say out loud, <laughs> and or answer a question for. We have about five minutes. Right, that seems like a very local issue. I do like Blenheim Palace for Best Van Berg project. I know obviously Hawksmoor did bits of it as well. Although there is a house that Van Berg did in Brizzle, I think. It's also very nice. Goblin will know which one I'm talking about. Who's my favourite single band? As mentioned previously, about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, Muse, who I'll be seeing live tomorrow on the island. Whiteberg City Gaming. That's another channel of mine. Um, John Nash, love his work. Uh, my favourite John Nash building has to be Cronk House Farm. Uh, Cronk Hill Farm. Uh, it's just such a strange building. Um, one of his first Italianate structures. Uh, I just want to say thank you again to you and all the others on the server for some wonderful, inspiring content. Sponsored by Rudog, I wish. Um, I, I I understand that I can be quite I don't know if prickly is the word um, I definitely understand that I'm acquired taste and I'm not the most friendliest of persons can be quite standoffish but hell I have a good time <laughs> and I know you guys do as well oh no I don't want to do that so it's nice to hear you all enjoy it um But yeah, so no no Pride Festival goers. Oh, that's a shame. Will this estate have a one-way system? No. Wait, didn't we ban you from my Discord? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> 
Did I manage to finish my comp build? No, this is it. <laughs> and you can see why I, I had to um, had to end that. Also, I'm over... Oh, God. Okay, I just get lost. No, my comp build's over here, along with the rest of the grounds. It was pff, too much for me to do, as always. Um, all right, I think I'm done with that over there for now. Just chilling. Will you be attending anything to do with Pride? Unfortunately not. Um, doesn't line up really on my schedule, but I wish anyone well who does attend. Let's have a look at it and see what it looks like in BSL. Oh. <laughs> go Binley Mega Chippy. No, I'm not going to go to the Mega Chippy. I do know the song. I might go grab a Mega Pint of Wine, though. I don't even like wine. Um... Mm. Let's change that around a little bit. Um. Did I come around? Hmm. It's facing south. Ooh. Binley Mega Chippy. And a good night to you too, Darcy Hunter. Thank you for being in the chat tonight. Derpy Possum, thank you. See you around. Hello, sunshine. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll figure out the lighting in a bit. That does look good. Actually, what happens if I put it... Where's normal? Minus 45. There is something about BSL shaders that I do love. I know I like the Chapatic at the moment. There is something. There is something there. Hey, I'm French. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I think those shares are killing my PC. <laughs> do I use a texture pack? What texture pack do I use? Our own. We use our own texture pack. Right, well that has been some of the work I had to do around here. It's not at all. As you can see, there's a lot to do. Uh, so, I might be back with another stream, or I might just finish things up quickly. Who knows? Who knows indeed. Um, let me go over to... Wartburg City. Be sure to wish Daddy Warden a happy birthday tomorrow. That's not even what you said. <laughs> um, yes. What's going on here then? Right, well, Daddy Warden, a happy Father's Day tomorrow. Very interesting way of saying that. Um, who removed the king? Guys, who who killed King... What? Where's he gone? Um, there's meant to be King, king George V here. Did I do that? Don't know. Can't remember. <laughs> um, okay, I don't don't really know. Uh, 
Uh, twig arm, I'm not entirely sure what you keep writing and deleting, but stop. Okay. Um, well, guys, anyway, thank you all for watching tonight's very impromptu random stream. Um, I've had fun. I enjoy doing these. I do just ramble for hours. No, King... Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. No, he hasn't been killed. Um, he was... Uh, Count Wobula, actually. Count Wobula. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching. I really enjoyed tonight's stream. I hope you guys have as well. It's been a good bit of fun. I do enjoy doing these. Um, let me know if you do. As I said, I know I can be a bit... What's the word? Prickly. No, not prickly. I don't even know what the word is now. A bit hard to talk to sometimes. But that's just me. Now, man, what are you doing there? Um, anyway, I'll be back soon with more of these. They're pretty easy to do now. I've got a different setup here. It's just a guitar. Um, and now I'm just talking at things. Um, but anyway, guys, remember... Get inspired. Get building. And I'll see you next time. If I survive the Isle of Wight, that is. Um, let me know if you're going to be there. You probably won't be there. Anyway, I'm trying to leave. Um, yeah, I think, I, think the, I think the webcam's broken. So, who knows what's happened there. Right. Anyway, goodbye. I just want to see if that's fixed. I think that's fixed, yeah. Okay. Don't know what happened. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, I think it is. Oh well. We'll see you in the next stream. <laughs>